The Penguins knee had a little bit of a hole on depth on defense. They had a little bit of a hole there. Um, and they had they there they had good picks to give up, and they gave up a twenty four or I think the condition was on the twenty nineteen pick that it was something about the stars getting like the they had two four round picks so the penguins had two four round picks in twenty nineteen, uh, it was something about um, the penguins having to give up the first four round pick something like that uh, I don't know quite what the condition was but they had to give up something like the first four round pick in that draft I don't know it's pretty confusing but. I don't know. I I think I, I think that for the Dallas Stars. I think that this is honestly for a Stars fan. I think that this is a, a pretty good deal. It's not fantastic, but I say it's pretty good. Not only are you getting a pick for her for Alexiak, who I'd say is like a fringe top six guy. Maybe for a lot of teams, you'd be like a extra defender, like a top seven, maybe even top eight for a few quite a few teams. Uh, but. In my eyes, you give more time to Honka with this trade. Honka gets a lot more ice time now because Lexiak is gone. And giving him more ice time to Honka, that's just brilliant. And honestly, that's the best possible thing in my eyes. Giving more ice time to Honka to, for him to develop and to become a great defenseman. Um, while Lexiak was kind of kind of just a big defenseman. It wasn't going to return. wasn't, wasn't really going to um, become anything special. Um, you give got ice time to a guy like Honka who could become something special. Lexiak isn't really... It, he isn't a bad defenseman. Don't get me wrong, he isn't a bad defenseman, but if you're using him at a top six role, if you're using him in a top four role, there's really something there's really a problem on your team. But if you're using him in a top six role, that's that's bad. It's it's bad, but it's it's manageable. Um if you're using him as depth, I think that he's a pretty decent depth forward. Or not depth forward, depth defenseman. Uh, but he's he's decent. He's decent enough on that role. Um, and he's that kind of just defensively somewhat liable, liable. Like he isn't that great. He isn't that great in any th any category in my eyes. He isn't good speed wise, skill wise. Definitely isn't. He'll always be remembered in my heart. In my heart, at least, for that dingle. I think it was last season where he was like, I think it was against the Blues where he like dingled out and defenseman at, at the blue line like two times, and then like spin deked and then came out and then scored a goal. That will probably be the highlight moment for his career, at least as a star. Um, I'll, I'll always remember that. That was like that was probably the best moment of last season. <laughs> that was probably the, one of the best goals of last season. That was really memorable. But um, he he's he's slow. He he just doesn't excel in anything. And I think that he's just an okay defenseman. Uh, I hope that he does well in Pittsburgh. Um, he has the tools necessary. I mean, Pittsburgh is a great place if your career is kind of stumbling a little bit. You go to Pittsburgh, you have a great you have a great season. Who knows what happens? Maybe he resurges like a Justin Schultz. Um, if you remember, he was like a def solo defenseman when he was in Ember Edmonton. Now he goes to the Pittsburgh, and he is their number one guy besides Latang. Um, when he's injured, Schultz is the guy. Uh, so who knows if that happens with him? It's not likely, just saying. But if he actually does come something, I'm hoping that he does, because I like Alexiak. But um, good luck in Pittsburgh. Uh, that's a great destination if you turn your want to turn your career around. And I'm hoping that that big punt comes something. But for this trade, we it wasn't really about acquiring a player. It was more about giving them some more ice time and opening up for ice time for guys like Honka. And even in some guys in the a AHL that could use time. So... I think that's a good deal, a good deal for the development, and I think that is a great deal for Honka. Uh, I think he'll get more similar ice time, and I think he'll prove himself as an NHL defenseman that I think he's capable of. And for me, I think this creates an even bigger um, path for Amira Heiskanen to become a good NHLer next season. This creates an easier path for him to surpass guys like Alexiak, who is gone. Um, Pattern, who could be gone in the offseason. There's a couple guys who could be gone in the offseason. that It makes the path for Heiskanen to become an NHLer and to get ice time in the NHL even easier. So at that point, I'm, I'm all for it. Heiskanen is one of my favorite players, uh, especially in the minor leagues, especially in those um, junior leagues, those... Uh, whatever those national leagues. He's one of my favorite players in there. I'm so glad the stars have him um, He is pretty elite. Um, I will say that's a running joke by the way. Um, don't take it as credit Don't take it as fact, but um, and for him to get more ice time in the next couple years I'm all for it and for the AHL. I'm mostly looking at Dylan Hetherington to be called up for um, For Alexiak spot for that seventh eighth defenseman um, Hetherington has played really well in the AHL. I've been even though I haven't watched the games, he still is putting up decent numbers. I think that he is young enough to be called up, 22 years old, from the Columbus Blue Jackets. I think he was required last season. Um, he's still a good prospect, and I think that he could become something. Um, the top six guy, could be, he could become that. And I think that starters or would be wise to call him up. I think that, that he probably, probably should be the guy to be coming up. Um, but there's lots of other options, too. 
um, in the AHL. So they could call whoever, but I think that Hetherington should get a shot, and I think that he could play well in the NHL. Um, but I think that he just needs a shot, and he might excel at it. So you never know. Uh, but it opens up more spots for guys in the AHL, and I still, uh, I think that that could that could benefit the Stars in a big way. But that's going to be today, guys. If you guys enjoy it, make sure to like. If you guys really enjoy it, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.